from Eyewitness Sports. This is the Yorker Shoes Friday Night Blitz. All right, welcome to week one of our revamped high school football show, the Friday Night Blitz. Mark, so many things to get excited for beside our new name and sponsor. Uh, we're micing up a coach tonight, interaction with you, the viewers, on social media, and of course our band of the week, but our bread and butter, of course, the highlights. And keep those hashtag Blitz12 picks and posts coming in. We'll get to some in just a bit. Uh, let's start with that game of the week. And it was the first night of lights at West Warwick, so that's a huge deal. And this game was excellent. Let's start with the Wizards after a blocked punt. Brogan Gilmet swings one over to Cody Stetson. And watch out here. Watch out here. Yeah. Right into the corner of the end zone. Seven zip Wizards. Now West Warwick head coach Dave Cato said before the game that stopping ass case Anthony Shepard would be key. And that lick there uh, from Luis Colon was, I guess, what he had in mind. That was laying the wood. Second quarter now, SK threatening. Paul Gonsalves gets wide and gets into the end zone. This one lived up to the billing. West Warwick, they win it 43-42 wow. in double OT. We love double OT. <laughs> Notre Dame, a private school out of West Haven, Connecticut, visiting Bishop Hendrickson, the defending champs. Late second quarter, tied at seven. Chris Hindle fakes the handoff, finds Andrew Hopgood in the end zone for six. Hawks take a 14-7 lead into halftime. Third quarter now, Hindle making magic from the pocket. Somehow will lose the rush before getting off the jump pass to Hopgood, and he does the rest. 60 yards to Pater and Hendrickson. Outlast Notre Dame 26 21. Rodgers visiting Portsmouth tonight. The Patriots had their way. Might be the only time we utter that phrase this weekend with the Gronk News. This is John Coyne keeping it himself and going in for the Portsmouth touchdown. Later, it's the Portsmouth D chiming in. This pass would be tipped, batted into the air, and intercepted by Alexander Kafalian. Portsmouth did it on both sides of the ball. Nick Lank, Rogers, 38 zip. That's a big win over to Pierce Field. East Providence hosting Mount Hope. Townie's up 7-0 at the break. Second half belong to the Huskies. Corey Gardoso on the carry. He is off 58 yards to the house. That ties things at 7. Mount Hope sees the momentum. More big plays off the East Providence punts. The Huskies again will take this the distance. EP was five in the preseason poll. Mount Hope 19, doesn't matter. They get the convincing win, 28 to seven. Now, speaking of that poll that re we released on Tuesday, Cranston East came in at number six. And all the Bolts fans on Twitter were really getting after me about that. They think they should be higher. And let's see if they prove that tonight. Well, yes, Yanni, they had a little chip on their shoulder, thanks to you. Thunderbolts hosting the Colonials from Ledyard. Cranston East already at 21-6 in the second quarter when Captain Malik Gavek takes a handoff, bounces outside, and dies for the pylon. That's a TD. Ledyard forced to punt from their own 15 when Antoine Robinson up the right sideline, outruns everyone, gone, 95 yards, touchdown, Thunderbolts, they roll 48-12, adjust the rankings, Jan. Bolt up, battle up the tucket to Parasol Field. Tolman and St. Ray's for the 77th time, scoreless first quarter, St. Xavier Torres rolling out. He's going to throw across his body, ball tipped in the air. Check out the concentration from Tolman's Ryan Long on the interception. St. Ray's returning the favor moments later. Justin Klemanchuk going long. He's picked off by the Saints. Alvin Johnson, Saints win 28-6. to six. Yanni, it was a big crowd. We saw an Attleboro border war between the Blue Bombardiers and Cumberland. Home team looking to add to their lead. It was 2014. But Cumberland's Ryan... Cabrori has other plans. The INT at the goal line keeps the Clippers alive. Same score in the fourth quarter. Cumberland looking like they had another stop, but Attleboro decides to go for it on fourth Ooh. down. And Tyler McGovern to James Weir. That would seal it. Attleboro gets it done. 28-14 the final. Middletown and Barrington getting after it on a beautiful East Bay night. Middletown quarterback Tyrese O'Loughlin keeping the ball here and maintaining a great relationship with running back Harry Quinones, who takes the late pitch and plunges in. Barrington did make a late splash in this one. Dante Augustine takes the kickoff and finds a lane. He goes the distance. Not enough. Middletown wins handily, 34-6. to Neighbors going head-to-head -head in the capital city. Classical hosting Central in the first game of the day. Purple defense looking like the purple people leaders. I think that's an old-time football Minnesota Vikings reference there. Wilfred Chirinos. Well time blitz. No, 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 he says. Offense was in gear as well. QB Daniel Carlin missed last year because of injury. Looked pretty sharp today. He finds Aaron Tutu over the middle. And the former hometown hero turns on the juice. Classical shuts out the Knights. 32 zip, the final. And we want to see what you see at your games using hashtag Blitz12 to let us know what's happening. Uh, let's check out some of these 
James Cranston East all over Ledyard 35 to 6 at the half. Thank you, James, for that picture. Katie Atwell, this is one of the games I was at. And the East Providence fans, what do you think, Mark? Into Great it. Shot, yeah. Hashtag Blitz 12. Hashtag Townie Pride. They're big Michaela Johnson fans in East Providence. I'm pretty sure she went there. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, Westerly Bulldogs. Hashtag Blitz 12. Dogs win the first against Fitch 24-21. So Westerly, you know, they want to make sure we're, we're taking note here. And uh, make sure to post your pictures and updates. Do you have any comments on any of these beautiful posts here? I mean, James, that's a, that's a heck of a tweet. We should, we should hire uh, that guy. And at Mark Dondero, too. Tweet all that's your right. thoughts. And when he mispronounces your name, just at Mark Dondero. Or at Yanni Krakus. The Yoker Shoes Friday Night Blitz continues. Hello again. We have a new segment this year, Yanni, where we mic up a head coach. Tonight, we had your former math teacher. Yeah, Eric Anderson at South Kingstown used to teach me math. He was younger at the time. He was okay. just starting out. And uh, tonight, though, he was talking football prior to our game of the week. Unbelievable South Kingstown in West Warwick. And here's what he had to say with his team. It's hard to contain him, huh? DG couldn't contain him. Yeah. And who you open up with after us? One socket, then Hendrickson. Are you kidding me? I don't know what we are yet. That's going to be a good test for both of us. 71's a dude, huh? Yeah. Watch out for JP. Anthony. Anthony. There you go, Bless. How you doing, Colin? Hey, we'll take I wish they cut the grass. Yeah, they, they're killing me. <laughs> we scrimmaged them. And you said you did pretty good? Yeah, they played base D, though. They stunted a little bit. Yeah. But it was, they, played, they played the base. But we moved the ball a little bit. I'll talk to him about it. Sure. Thank you. I didn't know if you were going to, yeah. you know. No, all right, no, no, cool. Okay. I got you. Thank you very much. Okay. Yep, yeah. I, I just sitting on the bench. I'll grab okay. him for you, all right? I'll go over with all right, look at that shot. Beautiful night at Kacheri Field. East Greenwich hosting Burrowville. First quarter, EGQB Andrew Blessing. Quick toss to Andrew Lachardi. Fingertip catch. Great spin move. Run down to the four-yard line. Blessing then fakes the handoff. He has Jake Meller corner of the end zone. That's a touchdown. Broncos answer with... QB Zach LeFou behind great blocking, sweeping left, 15 yards for the touchdown, 21-14, Broncos win. Coventry cheerleaders trying to fire up the team on enemy turf, naughty Oakers visiting Mount Pleasant. Kilty has jumped ahead in this one, but Coventry answered right back. Mike Abruzis finds Nicholas Dambra, who makes a nice cut. Dambra, nice cut. Eludes in few defenders, and he's got himself six points, but Mount Pleasant, one score better all night. Eric Palmer drops back and Ooh, finds nice Chris catch. Pagan in the end zone. Pretty Kilties top Coventry, 20 to 14. One sockets making the trip up to Johnston. Scoreless first quarter. Panthers QB Kyle Nelson rolling out. How about the grab from Evan Panaka? Let me see it. Wee! Oh, just snatches right it out of the air. Right into your Nelson to Nasir Vasquez moments later. That's a TD grab. But from there on, all in socket. Justin Mojica deep to Kayvon Davis. Perfection. That's a touchdown. And Mojica. Buying some time, lobs it up to Emmanuel Gomez for the score. When socket, look at this one, wee, 20 to six. Cherho making the long trip to Smithfield, 95, 295, right to the second half we go. Smithfield up 28, 12. QB Evan McCauley going to work on the QB keeper. He'll bounce it out, find some room, and go down to the one yard line. The very next play, he punches it in, right there, for the score. And then more from McCauley. Moments later, right through the Cherho defense, Smithfield, they win big, 49 to 12, the final. Central Falls, the Warriors looking to protect their home turf, hosting Exeter West Greenwich. Scarlet Knights use a little razzle dazzle to get a big gain. Adam Hernandez tosses to Marcus Teller, who hands it to Nick Cardellino. Nick downfield to Joseph Kocher. Finally taken down by Erickson De Vega inside the red zone. De Vega's touchdown saving tackle rewarded a few plays later. William Gonzalez with the strip. Dutch Arroyo scoops it. He's off 85 yards later. Another CF score. They take a wild win, 45-32. One more high school score. LaSalle a winner on the road in Mass tonight. That'll do it for week one of the Blitz. Catch all the highlights online on WPRI.com. Thank you for all the photographers who shot, including yourself, Mark. We send you out with a new tradition, the Band of the Week. Enjoy the sweet sounds from the Band of Cranston East. Have a good night.